All right, guys, how are you guys doing? All right, uh, just a little bit about myself. Uh, uh, my name is a Agent JR4. Uh, I am currently a um, sports agent uh, and also a student at Georgetown University uh, uh, Sports Industry Management Program. Uh, just a little bit about myself. Um, I became a sports agent in 2015 uh, through the CFL. Uh, I did a course through Sports Management Worldwide with uh, Dr. Lynn Lashbrook. Uh, and from there, I've uh, just been gaining insight and knowledge into the sports industry. Um, in 2015, also, I went to a bowl game uh, in Florida. Actually, I'm actually in Florida right now, uh, preparing for um, a game currently, the Redskins and Jacksonville game, actually. Uh, but I came out here in 2015, and I saw uh, a bowl game, uh, FCS Bowl, um, National Bowl, uh, held by Mr. Mike Cordy. And uh, I saw a lot of... Uh, what I saw was a lot of people who didn't who didn't understand what was next after college. Uh, this is this is particularly football players, but this can go for a lot of sports: basketball, you know, any sport, um, any college with a with a with a sports program. But they may not be on the level of, you know, your your Florida State or your Maryland, so to speak. So, um, I went there and I saw a lot of athletes who needed help and assistance. Um, and this is where uh, my original concept came in. Uh, now, just to be clear, an underdog is not just someone who uh, went to a lower division school, uh, but an underdog is also someone who, 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 just, who is just hungry to be great. So just because you went to a top school uh, doesn't mean that you shouldn't you know, continue to strive to be great, whether you're a first round pick in the NFL uh, whether you're, you know, from the first round picks to the last to, to the seventh round, you should always be hungry. You should always be striving to be more and to develop, you know, because that first round co contract is, is one thing. But what's really going to matter is what you're going to do uh, from a business perspective. And even as a professional athlete, after those after those four years of done that first contract. So to develop and, and, and to, to maximize your potential, you have to stay hungry. And, and that's one of our mottos is to definitely stay hungry um, uh, and, 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 and keep that underdog mindset. So that's uh, just a little bit, uh, just a little bit about uh, my, my background. Um, a couple of things that uh, I wanted you guys to kind of think about is even early on, it may be some juniors and maybe some freshmen or sophomores uh, in, in college um, or even in high school. That, that's what that's watching this right now. Uh, one thing I want you to think about is you should always begin with the end in mind. So just be mindful. Just because you may be at a, 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 a Bowie State University or Morgan State University, and you may not be at that top school. You should always say, OK, every time I step on the field, um, you know, coach is looking at me. You know, every time I I. I, I Everything I do is, is my resume. So let your resume speak from the very beginning. Um, and the rest usually takes care of itself. Um, so in this channel, you're going to be getting a lot of um, insight on uh, what, what the process is, uh, you know, during school and also after you graduate. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for you guys, uh, particularly, you know, people that – uh, went to lower schools, there, there are opportunities in the, the CFL, the NFL, the opportunities in the AFL, uh, the IFL, so many different leagues, but you just have to understand what they're looking for and you have to be make sure you're the one that's going to provide that. Um, so that's, that's one segment. The second segment is the athlete who is at a major school, at a big school, say a Maryland or a Florida State, um, those athletes should should also prepare for what to expect. Because it's one thing we see so many players who get that, who become first round picks. Uh, Jamarcus Russell was one of them. Uh, it's so many people, uh, you know, Vince Young, great guy. Unfortunately, was one of those people who, you know, things, you know, he's doing well at Texas right now. They took care of him and that's a great thing. Uh, but who sometimes who may go to the big, you know, the, the, the top. And if you don't have that hunger, um, it, it can it can definitely it can definitely 
you know, affect your career long term. Um, and I'm sure he would even, and others would attest to the importance of staying hungry and, and developing your skill set um, and understanding how the business works. It's, an, it's still an investment on your part, even after you get that contract. Um, so investing in your body, um, investing in your craft on the off seasons, um, those things matter. So those are a lot of things. Those are the, some of the key components that we'll be talking about. So definitely from two perspectives, you know, from the high school college athlete uh, that went that 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 that's that may be underrated and who who's getting looked at or may not be getting looked at at certain schools and how to maximize maximize the opportunities that you do get so you can be prepared to uh, continue to go forward professionally and the athlete who may be at a top school who wants to continue to have that mindset of staying hungry. So uh, I look forward to working with you guys. Um, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.